Morning all. Oh, again. Comes up um, yeah, um, a couple of people have asked me on here uh, in comments and other videos that I, you know, that I, I watch. I've only been up about an hour and I've had breakfast since I summer. Not quite with it yet. It takes me ages. Um, they said, uh, you know, because I've got done a few things about flat earth and global earth at the risk of boring everybody oh excuse me just had breakfast um if it if all the planets are round or all the planets are square they weren't all flat when they say flat earth I always think of it as every planet would be flat I don't know so I personally believe that it's all planets are all round but does it matter I don't really care whether I'm living on a flat earth, round earth, oblong earth, square earth, oval earth, invisible earth, billion, 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 billion miles across the earth, or just what I can see. <coughs> you know, um, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm fascinated by aliens. Did they come here a thousand years ago? And I was like, but does it matter? I don't care really. It's just a load of, it could be a lot of bollocks, so what? But it's just a hobby. It's just interesting, you know. It, I always thought these sort of things when I was a school kid, you know, where I'd be in school and I don't know. I used to have these sort of deep talks like we it represented like all the kids in. In the school, it was about a thousand, I think it was a big school, so I pulled it down. Of course, well, it wouldn't be afterwards, would it? Anyway, um, so as if they were all planets, and I thought, well, I'm me, just one little speck at school of all the kids. Why is it, why is the so called consciousness me here? Why aren't I everybody else at the same time? Oh dear, these thoughts. So I sort of lost them to a few years back and they came back again and all that. But my point is, oh, I've got to this cough, sorry. <coughs> my point is, I don't care. Now, where does reality stop and where does fake stop and where do they both start? There is no sort of margin that says, that's fake, that's real. There's no such thing. It's what's real in front of you. Um, now, I was born in South London, I grew up in South London, I got married the first time in South London, I now live in, in Kent, in Swanley. Now, what I can see around me, I class as real, as what I recognise as real, in whatever entity I'm in, whether I'm a spirit, whether I'm human. Now, I could be imagining all this. Whatever imagination is, uh, there could be no such thing as life as we think of it. I mean, are we just glorified computers that can walk along, you know, like a robot? And we got so complicated that the uh, complication is so great, and all these nerves, all like neutron nerves, or whatever they are on your head, create their own consciousness, what we call a mind. Who knows? Who cares? Now, I've been to Scotland and I've been to Wales a couple of times. I've been to the Isle of Wight. I've never been out of country. I've never wanted to. Um, where else have I been? No, oh, up where my dad was born in the middle in the south. I'm in Warwickshire as a kid. Um, now, how much of this is real? If you look upon reality as the accepted sort of sense, when I'm going up the road on my scooter or whatever, or we're going, me and the wife, wife are in the van going up, <coughs> say Blue Water, Dartford or wherever. That's real at the time, in the moment. But is it? Is it real? I sort of know it's real because I live here all the time. I don't know if there's a thing called America. I don't know if there's a thing called Europe. I could have been fed all this crap since I was a school kid and then on television, radio, and here. Is it a government corruption? Does any of this exist? Does Earth exist? Does it, I mean, does it matter? This is what I'm saying. 
When you look around, I must have a great imagination because of beauty of, of art and scenery and trees. And I love my family a bit, especially the other half. Surely that is real. But then again, that little percentage says, yeah, but it might not. After all, when you dream, whatever dreams are, um, at the time, that is so real. I mean, is there such a thing as time? I mean, I, I go back sometimes and I'm, as I am now, same sort of age, but not disabled. I'm back doing my first job when I was 15 or 16, but I'm the age I am now. And it is so real, so intense. That I wait, I'm in the dream and I say to my old foreman and my mates there, probably all dead now as we understand it, um, I've dreamt so much of being here and seeing all you again, you know, I can't believe this is real this time, you know, and then I wake up and I think, that was so real. Or my other, I mean, I've done quite a lot of job security in that, but the best job I liked was when I worked at the Natural History Museum in South London for seven years as a walder. But how much of it is real? I mean, as I say, does it matter? We exist in whatever plane we're on now, whatever land is, whatever the earth is. To me, we could all be on a stage like Extenders or something, all acting different parts. And then we so-called die, whatever death is. Um, do we know we die? I've heard all this before. Um, so you're like on Extenders or Carnation Street or something, and any soap opera, and they say cut. And then the real you comes out. Now, the real you could be this person that's dead, I suppose, all the time. And he looks down and he's just got a, a part to play, a character to play on so-called Earth. So, and then he's got another life. And does he, then he would have a life away from the set behind the scenes of a soap opera. Then he'd go home to his wife or whatever, and he'd have another, a different sort of consciousness there. Behaves very different. Goes out with mates. <clears throat> very different again or plays with his kids very different again how many layers is there are they all real you see what I mean oh, I mean we, we do put an act I mean when you're about 6 or 17 you tell it, go out for the first time I mean talking from my point of view of course, and you're all fingers and thumbs you don't know what to say you look away oh you, you, if you don't feel comfortable because it, you know you just don't know that age and it's that sort of thing, you know. Um, and later on, all that goes. It's like take it or leave it, you know. Because my attitude now, of course, with everything, right or wrong, is well, if you don't like me, that's your problem. There's always a thing, a way around these things, and the third one, I can never frame and remember. Um, I wish I'd have done that years ago when I was the fattest kid at school and all the rest of it, like, you know. Used to. If anyone said fat, your girl looked at you wrong because you was fat. You sort of went, and you wanted to call her one a little hole somewhere. I could kick myself now for being like that because I couldn't give a monkey's what people think of me. Thin, fat, bald, fat, again, old, young, up yours. My wife loves me, so that's all I'm bothered about. So there. Right, that's enough of all these old cobblers. Do you know I've looked at that camera light like, all the time and it sort of hypnotises you. I never thought I'd get used to that. It don't matter what's going on around me because I can do a playback if I want to. Anyway, I think we're both going out later. I don't think my daughter is. Because um, I've got to get, I still can't find that printer ink for my printer. That's why I've had to take photos of my big camera from the screen. Which isn't so good because it picks up a bit of light down the bottom here. Excuse me, when I've done one of them paintings, because I can't seem to upload paintings to YouTube. Unless I do it like that. The other way is like, you know, when the print is going, well, it's going, but nothing. I think I said before, I ever said it on a comment that what I do is I, you can print from the paint program. Um, you print, print it out first and then put it on the scanner, scan it back into the computer. As far as I remember, you can upload it to YouTube from there, which of course is much better. You know, 
it's like taking a proper photograph that you've scanned it in. Right, I'm off now. Uh, I shall probably have to look away because I might be able to see a little dot that you press for record and stop. So this is Mickey Turner looking directly at the camera, possibly you, and see you all later on. Bye. For now. Now where's the button? Oh, that's it. We'll look about. See you later.